He was one of the twelve apostles of Jesus. His brother was also an apostle. He brought the gospel to other places. He was the first apostle to be martyred. Today's curiosities are about Saint James the Greater. Here are ten curiosities about him. 10. One of the Twelve Apostles. Saint James the Greater is a central figure in Christianity, recognized as one of the Twelve Apostles chosen by Jesus Christ. He is called the Greater to distinguish him from James the Lesser, another apostle who shares the same name. The son of Zebedee and Salome, James was the brother of Saint John the Evangelist, forming one of the most well-known duos of apostles. Both were fishermen on the Sea of Galilee, and their lives changed drastically when they were called by Jesus to leave their nets and follow him, becoming fishers of men. 9. Son of Zebedee. Zebedee, a fisherman, had two sons who became fundamental in spreading the teachings of Jesus, illustrating the importance of family in propagating the Christian faith. James and John, often portrayed together in the Gospel narratives, shared experiences and crucial moments alongside Jesus, solidifying a bond that transcended the brotherly relationship. From the beginning of his ministry, James and John left their nets and their life as fishermen to follow Jesus, responding to his call with readiness. The fact that they were brothers and work companions added a special dimension to their discipleship, allowing them to share not only the joys of the mission but also the challenges and sacrifices involved in the walk of faith. Together, they witnessed many of Jesus' miracles, including the resurrection of Jairus's daughter and the Transfiguration, events that marked their lives and prepared them for their future apostolic mission. The closeness between James and John is also evidenced by their complementary characteristics, while James was known for his strength and fervor, John is often associated with love and contemplation. This familial and apostolic dynamic highlights the importance of unity and collaboration in the missionary work. After the death of Jesus, James moved forward with his own mission, but always with the influence and teachings he and John absorbed during their years with the Master. 8. Called by Jesus. James the Greater was one of the first apostles to respond to the call of Jesus, a decisive moment that would change the course of his life and spiritual journey. The scene is often described in the Gospels, James and his brother John were working on their nets, dedicated to fishing, a common profession in Galilee. When Jesus saw them, he called them with a revolutionary proposal, to leave their nets and follow him, becoming fishers of men. This immediate and unwavering response from James illustrates not only his willingness but also his faith in the divine calling. By abandoning the security of fishing, he embarked on a new life filled with challenges and learning, alongside a group of men who would become his companions in the mission to spread Jesus' teachings. James witnessed many of the fundamental events in Jesus' life, from his preachings and miracles to crucial moments like the Transfiguration. This call not only transformed him personally but also prepared him for an active role in the foundation of the early church. 7. Nickname Sons of Thunder. James the Greater, known as Boanerges, which means Sons of Thunder, received this nickname from Jesus, reflecting his strong and impetuous personality. The name not only reveals a striking characteristic of James but also suggests the intensity of his passion and fervor for what he believed. Alongside his brother John, James was known for his fiery nature and willingness to engage in situations that required courage and determination. The nickname Sons of Thunder may have arisen from various situations described in the Gospels, where James and John displayed an assertive and sometimes impulsive attitude. A notable example is when the two brothers asked Jesus for permission to call down fire from heaven upon a Samaritan town that did not welcome them, showing not only their loyalty to the Master but also a certain aggressiveness in defending the cause of the Gospel. This episode reveals the intense side of James, who, while seeking justice, still needed to learn to temper his passion with compassion. The nickname also carries spiritual connotations, symbolizing the strength of the gospel that James would help to spread. He would become a prominent apostle, willing to face the challenges and persecutions that would come throughout his mission. James' transformation from a son of thunder to an apostle committed to peace and the message of Jesus illustrates the spiritual journey that many followers of Christ experience, a growth in faith and understanding, where the strength of their character is channeled into love and service. 6. Significant Events James the Greater, as one of the Twelve Apostles, had the honor of witnessing several significant events in Jesus' life, experiences that shaped not only his faith but also his apostolic mission. Among these events, the Transfiguration stands out, a profound and revealing moment when Jesus transformed before James, Peter, and John, showing his divinity. During this experience, Jesus' face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as light, while Moses and Elijah appeared beside him. 
This event not only confirmed Jesus' messianic identity but also solidified James' position as one of the closest apostles to the Master, entrusted with bringing this revelation to the world. Another remarkable event that James witnessed was the resurrection of Jairus' daughter, one of the synagogue leaders. Jesus was called to heal the girl, who was gravely ill, but upon his arrival, he found the family in mourning, as the girl had already died. However, Jesus, demonstrating his power over death, took the girl by the hand and said, Talitha kumi, which means little girl, I say to you, arise. James, along with the other apostles, was a witness to the miracle that not only brought joy to Jairus and his wife but also reinforced James' belief in Jesus' authority over life and death. These events, among others, not only marked James the Greater's journey as an apostle but also contributed to his understanding and commitment to Jesus' mission. The experience of witnessing such miracles and revelations shaped his character and prepared him for the role he would play in spreading the gospel after Christ's ascension. 5. Mission in Spain. After the ascension of Jesus, James the Greater became one of the first apostles to spread Christianity outside of Palestine. Initially, he preached in Judea and Samaria, where he shared the message of the gospel and helped establish communities of faith. His work in these regions was crucial in strengthening the bonds between the first followers of Jesus and creating a solid foundation for the expansion of Christianity. James the Greater's journey did not stop there, he also ventured to Spain, where it is believed he conducted significant missionary work. Christian tradition holds that he arrived in Braga, in the Galicia region, where he founded the first church. This mission in Spain is an important milestone in the history of Christianity, as James became one of the first apostles to carry the message of Christ to such distant lands, contributing to the spread of the gospel in Europe. James faced many challenges during his mission, including resistance and persecution, but his determination to preach the word of God never wavered. His presence in Spain is often associated with a spirit of resilient faith and a passion for Christian testimony, which helped solidify the identity of the early church in the region. Moreover, the tradition of James the Greater in Spain has strengthened over the centuries, culminating in the veneration of the Apostle as the patron of Spain and the construction of the famous Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela, which has become an important pilgrimage destination. For Apparition of Our Lady During his mission in Spain, James the Greater experienced an extraordinary event that would have a lasting impact on Christian tradition. On one of his journeys, while preaching and evangelizing, he had a vision of the Virgin Mary, who appeared to him on a column of alabaster. This apparition is recognized as a crucial moment, as Our Lady asked him to build a church in her honor. Motivated by this revelation, James began the construction of what would become the Basilica of Our Lady of the Pillar, located in Zaragoza. The Basilica of Our Lady of the Pillar has become one of the main Marian shrines in the world and is an important pilgrimage site. Our Lady's request for James to raise a church in her honor reflects not only James' mission but also the deep connection between the Apostle and the Mother of Jesus. The presence of Mary as an intercessor and spiritual guide was a source of inspiration and strength for James in his evangelizing task. The Basilica of Our Lady of the Pillar, besides its religious significance, is a splendid example of Baroque architecture and attracts thousands of visitors annually, who come to venerate the image of Our Lady of the Pillar, which is considered miraculous. This vision of Our Lady and the construction of the Basilica further solidified Marian devotion among Christians and ensured James the Greater's place in the religious history of Spain. 3. Martyrdom. Saint James the Greater had a tragic end, becoming the first of the apostles to be martyred. His death occurred around 44 AD during the reign of Herod Agrippa I, who sought to please the Jewish leaders and consolidate his power. Realizing James' popularity and the influence he had over the followers of Jesus, Herod decided to act violently. James was arrested and later brought to trial. The apostle was condemned to death and beheaded, an act that not only shocked the Christians of the time but also underscored the growing persecution faced by the followers of Christ. James' death not only sealed his fate as a martyr but also solidified his legacy as a fervent defender of the Christian faith. The story of his sacrifice inspired many to continue his mission of spreading Jesus' teachings, even in the face of persecution and personal risk. James the Greater, with his example, became a central figure in the history of the early church and a symbol of resistance and faith. 2. Role in the Church Saint James the Greater plays a significant role in the history of the church, being considered the patron saint of Spain. His influence extends beyond his life and martyrdom, as he is remembered as a central figure in the spread of Christianity in the country. Devotion to James is especially strong in the Galicia region, 
where the famous sanctuary of Santiago de Compostela is located, which has become an important site of Christian pilgrimage. This sanctuary houses the remains of the Apostle and attracts thousands of pilgrims every year, especially during the Feast of Santiago, celebrated on July 25, which marks the date of his martyrdom. As the patron saint of Spain, James is also seen as a symbol of resistance and courage, especially during the Reconquista when Christians fought to regain control of the Iberian Peninsula from the Muslims. According to tradition, he appeared in visions to help Christians in battle, which further strengthened his position as a central figure in Spanish faith. 1. Cult and Miracles The Basilica of Our Lady of the Pillar, located in Zaragoza, Spain, is one of the main centers of worship for St. James the Greater, attracting pilgrims from various parts of the world. The construction of the basilica is directly linked to the vision that James had of Our Lady, who asked him to build a church in her honor. Since then, the site has become an important destination for the Apostles' devotees. The tradition of miracles associated with St. James the Greater contributes to the popularity of the Basilica of Our Lady of the Pillar. Many faithful report deep spiritual experiences and inexplicable healings during their visits, reinforcing belief in the saint's intercession. The fame of these miracles attracts not only those seeking physical cures but also people in search of spiritual guidance and protection. Devotion to the Apostle is so strong that the Basilica has become a symbol of the Catholic faith in the region. Within the Basilica, visitors can admire works of art depicting the life and miracles of St. James, along with relics that enhance the reverence for the site. The image of Our Lady of the Pillar, which occupies a prominent place in the Basilica, is especially venerated. The cult of St. James the Greater is not limited to Spain but extends to various parts of the world, where his faithful celebrate masses and festivities in his honor. The continuous attribution of miracles to the Apostle and the fervent devotion of pilgrims to the Basilica of Our Lady of the Pillar make St. James the Greater a central figure in Catholic spirituality, reinforcing his importance in the Church and the influence he has on the lives of believers. And we reach the end of another story full of curiosities. Don't forget to leave in the comments the curiosities about which saint you would like to see here on the channel. Until the next story.